So you have a white man that's going to share, you know, why this country is in the shape it's in due to the gains of the civil rights movement and the election of Barack Obama. Let's go ahead and roll that. Why are Americans so uneducated? It's because of drain pool politics and the conservative reaction to segregation ending. As soon as segregation ended, many white people immediately defunded public schools and moved their kids to private schools. They also filled public pools with concrete and public parks were demolished. This is also why workers' salaries have stagnated since the civil rights movement, and it's also why college tuition has skyrocketed since the civil rights movement. Pretty much all modern problems in the U.S. can be traced back to drained pool politics and the conservative reaction to segregation ending. This is a very similar mindset to a child breaking a toy when they're told they have to share it. And this problem has gotten much, much worse since Obama was elected. Well, one thing racism and white supremacy do not like, they do not like equality. They don't like it at all because to them, equality is oppression. And for them to have that kind of reaction, that's how they've been doing things forever. Whether they're doing it here in the continent of Africa, they was doing the exact same thing at the end of um, colonialism, how they were destroying, especially the French, destroying a lot of infrastructure, you know, doing a lot of things that they shouldn't have been doing. But they do not want black people to have an equal footing at all. And what they can't stand about us as black people, even though all this sabotage they have done to us constantly, we still find a way to thrive in America. We still find a way to build. We still find a way to persevere through it. And you look at today, all, all that destroying of public education is biting them right back in the butt right now. It is. All that destroying parks and public pools and all that, the wages, not want to pay nobody. It's hurting them right now. So everything, a lot of times you're trying to do to other people, you usually fall right in your own trap. And that's why the country is in the shape that it's in. These people, you know, they, what they're trying to set up right now is an apartheid system. Now, you may say, what do you mean by apartheid system? Well, in South Africa, black people are the majority, white people are the minority. They're with about 10% of the population, but yet they own the wealth and they own the land. In this country, well, how they set up an apartheid system, they're making sure that the, all the judges look like them. In the Supreme Court, they're making sure they have that conservative majority that's going to enact the laws that they want, because right now it's a conservative Supreme Court. So enacting the laws that, that they think about, so they could, anything they want to push, they can push it through because of that reason. It's not an even Supreme Court, not whatsoever. So these people are setting this up so they can rule even when they're outnumbered. Because technically, if you add up everybody, they become an either, either they are probably outnumbered now or very close to it but they still run everything in positions of power. They know eventually they're not going to have all the power. They know that they know eventually they're going to have to share it, but if they're going to share it, it's going to have to be them being in control of it completely. Well, you can't really do much of anything because, you know, think about it, this country has all white governors. You don't have a single black governor in America, not a one. Some, some, it's even to this day, still haven't had some states haven't had a black congressperson, a black senator. Some places haven't had a black DA, a black judge. Yeah, I mean, still to this day, because they have set this thing up with gerrymandering. They set this thing up. They're trying to right now. They got a case before the Supreme Court by the Voting Rights Act again, trying to gut it again. They don't want black people to vote. Why? because they want to make sure they can stay in power underneath an apartheid system. South Africa is the model they're trying to emulate here in America. Now it's going to take the people to take a stand against that. The people in the majority can, you know, get rid of a lot of the policies once they get in power for sure. But that's really what it is. The white supremacists want to make sure they stay on top at all times and definitely black people stay in a permanent underclass position. Now, if you're going to stay in America all your life and you want to fight for America, well then you have to figure out a way to undo all the judges that they put in place. You know, even at the federal level, the, the circuit courts and all that, you got to undo all of that mess. 
Me personally, I told y'all my end game is always, listen, I always have a place here in America. I was born here, raised here and everything. I have family here, but I'm definitely having a place in the, in the continent of Africa too. And I'll be between both continents. I've said that that's my end game because these, these people here and what they doing in the West is just not really my interest. Just be honest with you. These people got the next group of people, even the buffers infected with white supremacy. So even when they become less, you're still dealing with the buffer classes thinking and acting just like them. That that's the issue too. But y'all let me know what y'all think about, you know, this situation here with this man is just telling y'all what, what his people done and what they continue to do. You know, I like these videos where they're, they're telling on themselves because when somebody like me tell you, you know, you don't want to believe me or you want to question, I'm not saying all of you, but you know, they have been trained by white supremacy to distrust and not believe a black man. So when a white person tell you, well, I'm pretty sure you believe what we say a little bit more now. 